Hi, we have gained access to all statistics of tanks currently in testing, so let's take a look at them. The HWK-13, as was supposed, is very similar to the RU-251 and LEKPZ M4190. Its armor is slightly thicker, it won't bounce anything, but might sub stop some HG cells. Top speed is a little bit lower than on the previously mentioned tanks, but 70 km per hour is still a great value. The gun is also very similar. It has the same alpha damage on standard shells as the RU, but for some reason the HE damage is higher. It also maintains the same very strong HE penetration and gets a bit more gold pen. In general, it's a good old RU251, but with some slight changes. The chart footer surprises again. It is not only an ultimate, it deals 2700 damage per minute with a 340 alpha. It has a decent gun depression and penetration at the aim time. It's just ridiculous. 7 seconds of aim time is just atrocious for a value comparable to tanks like the IS-5, Object 252U, or even a KV-2. At least it gets somewhat compensated by the mobility. 60 km per hour top speed is a good result for a medium tank. It has 7 de degrees of gun depression and no armor whatsoever. It feels to be more like a light tank than a medium and overall parameters aren't that bad. But if that aim time value isn't a mistake, it might be very annoying to play. And the last tank we will show you today is, as usual, the new Battle Pass reward. Wang is a modified YZ-131 GFT, and its legendary skin is called Immortal. It is also the same as the original. It has a slightly less DPM and accuracy, but drives 2 km an hour faster. And that's all for today. Are you interested in any of the tanks we've shown below? Tell us in the comments. See you in another video. Goodbye.